What's up photography fans, Martin here from All About Street Photography channel and today I want to talk about this particular picture. Yeah, France, uh, the cyclist by Anne Cartier-Bresson. I'm going to take a closer look at the composition as well as the story uh, behind the photograph. If you are not familiar with Anne Cartier-Bresson, make sure to check my previous video about his life and photography. So let's get started. What we are looking at is a black and white photograph taken in France in 1932 by one of the most well-known street photographer Anne Cartier-Bresson. He actually took the picture while on a holiday during a walk around the town. Even though the photo looks very spontaneous, what we probably see here is a result of so-called fishing technique. Photographer would find a good location and then wait for suitable subject to enter the frame and complete the composition. When we look at the composition, we can see this spiral created by handrail, which kind of lead us to the main subject. The cyclist is captured with almost perfect figure to ground relationship. If we would like to be really perfectionists, we would point out the head of the cyclist is losing contrast because it's touching this curve. Now, this is important because what we have here is basically a silhouette and when capturing silhouette, the photographer has to make sure the subject is easily recognizable. That's why it is popular to capture people in street photography with their arms and legs separated because it's easy to read by a viewer. When you capture a silhouette like this, there is a very little information you provide for the viewer other than shape. If you don't use the proper figure to ground relationship or you do not separate the shape properly, what you end up presenting to the viewer is a formless subject. When we look at this photograph of cyclists, you see right away it is kind of hard to read what's going on and what are these subjects. You might be wondering why would someone wanted to take a photo of the subject like cyclist from above. I have actually edited this brilliant photo taken by Michal Cerveni called Cape Epic. Now look at the original photo. What you actually see first when you look at the photograph are the shadows which masterfully use the figure to ground relationship and then lead the eyes to the actual cyclists. The photo actually won the Czech Sport Photography of the year 2017. So basically what you want to do in your street photography in cases you are photographing people or other subjects for the composition and not expression is you want to make use of this two-dimensional view as it is very easy to recognize. You can actually get inspired by paintings of old Egyptians uh, in pyramids as this is basically one of the most common techniques they used. Now back to Cartier-Bresson. The curve together with the cyclist actually emphasizes the movement and makes otherwise static picture dynamic. Almost like if the picture was actually moving. When Cartier-Bresson talked about composition, he said, photography implies the recognition of a rhythm in the world of real things. According to Bresson, the decisive moment is unique to photography since uh, painters and sculptors can adjust their work uh, to their liking. Such a thing is simply impossible for unstaged street photography. The picture was taken with a Leica uh, with a 50mm lens, which he bought in Marseille not too long before that. The camera had actually a pretty big impact on his photography since it was one of the first handheld cameras and that allowed him to move around much more freely than with a tripod. Uh, adapting and defining style that would later become known as a photojournalism. For more information about Anne Cartier-Bresson, uh, feel free to check out uh, my video about him. I hope you liked today's uh, story behind this picture. If you did, uh, feel free to give it a like and uh, I will see you in the next video. 